If you love what we do, then please consider supporting Cryptfail on Patreon. Your support helps us grow and to create more content more often. And now, on with the show. Battle Lords of the 23rd Century! <laughs> And Archiac is going to go through their pockets looking for loose change. Not mints. The Unless they have pockets. mints. Or uh, anyone, anyone who is not awake. Ah. <laughs> I think that he will avoid doing it to people who are awake. And if there is people who are awake... He will only go through the pirates. People were waking up. Is anyone like yeah. fully conscious, or are they just kind of like? Uh... Um, they're okay. So uh, the scene is um, the firefight has ended. You guys are at mm. the end of the corridor from memory, right? Oh, uh, um, no idea. I thought we were in a cafeteria. Thing. What's his name? Zach's gonna jam, so he was trying to. Uh, fix that. Poor Zach didn't get to fire his. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> did he? Yeah. He, yeah, the he first, toast the first ones. Yeah, he toasted yeah. one guy. Oh, that's right. Because um, shooting the multiple rounds, <clears throat> shooting at the um, the pirates and potentially hitting the outside window. Okay. Um. Yeah, so the scene is, uh, as the, the smoke clears, the um, the gas seems to be ebbing away uh, slowly uh, through the air conditioning ducts at the bottom of the floors being sucked through the vents. And some of the patrons are starting to um, uh, rouse. Rouse. Some of the patrons are starting to... Um, Wake up from this uh, gas-induced slumber. Um, and Archiac is going around pilfering people. Mm-hmm. Well, from them. He's not stealing them. No. And only Probably. only bad people. Or ones he thinks could So be, which patron maybe. can you tell is bad? Well, he's pretty sure they all are. Because they're rich. But he's just going to be searching the pirates. Okay. Do you remember how many pirates there were? I think it was like four. Five. I forget. Oh, we've got Pete, Bob, Ed, Ray, Schmitty, Garth, Wayne, Johnny, Bill and Trent. Not anymore. <laughs> Which is Archie like the holds old, them up. Um, Did anyone want any of these? I've got a I've got a I sticky gun, I... an explosive gun. Put them okay. together, explosive sticky gun. Either of you, Zach, uh, Blobby. Thing go boom, thing go stick. Glue stick. <laughs> Come on, that's good. No, um, Zach's carrying too much as it is, so or just he's just under his weight allowance. Hmm. I don't think I need any more sticky substances. <laughs> you could have an explosive substance if you'd like. I'm good. Charlene here is explosive enough. Right. He puts it down and just looks for the coin. 
and Akiak makes three piles of coin. Three piles? Yeah, you see, computer, there's four of us. I've taken my bit. I've left three piles here for them to scavenge, to coin a phrase. I'm fine for credits. You can split mine amongst yourselves if you'd like. Cool. There's two. There's two piles here of of credits. <laughs> sure. I think. But I, I won't didn't. say no to more. <laughs> there is fifty-two coins. The gelatinous creature uh, slides over one of the piles of coins and then gets sucked up into him. And do we just see them floating in him forever? Just coins? Oh. Like a when Christmas you jello. Hit, you're going to make a great sound. <laughs> that doesn't seem particularly safe. If everyone can see how much money you're carrying, don't you find people want to rob you? I can change my texture and shape at will, including the transparency. I see. So you're just showing off. If you put some grenades in you, will that deter them? It's possible. It also might explode you if you're not careful. Well, this geezer has a couple of grenades. Do you want them? I think I'll pass on putting anything explosive inside of myself for right now. Alright, he chucks him over your shoulder. So, some of the patrons are starting to wake up. Um, uh, uh, a couple are crying. Uh, some are trying to get others to, to wake up, their loved ones, um, at certain tables. Uh, other ones are just staring, sort of blankly rubbing their eyes. Um, and a lot of them seem to have some you know, form of irritation on their eyes and nose and mouth. Not just angry. Not just angry? No, but yeah, sad, blank faces, some crying. Um, one woman off in the distance is just squealing her head off. Someone's calling out, where's the captain? You can hear other people saying, what's going on? Anybody feel like addressing the crowd? Because I don't. But Archiac finds um, two bags full of uh, interesting items that are possibly from the patrons. So he slides but suspiciously up to Terra. Okay. <laughs> and? What do we do with this? So they're, they're two military backpacks. What have you got? The computer has told me they're two military backpacks and they're filled with stuff. <laughs> well, I don't know. What do you want to do with them? Well, I don't know, but I think it might be the patrons. Well, I don't know. Give it back if you want. I don't if want... not, they got lost in the scuffle. Well, clearly I don't want to give it back. I just don't want they us to be caught it. with it. If we get caught, I want to be able to blame these guys, the geezers that are dead, not us. Well, yeah, if you get caught, just say you thought it was one of the pirates. And therefore, fair game. I thought the backpack was one of the pirates? No. A new alien race? It belonged to one of the pirates. Oh. I'm an old guy. The pirates had it. In the, in the table in front of you. Um, there's a table of four, and there's an old guy. He's just watching an Old lady, and he's just sort of his eyes sort of flutter open, and he sees you, you two talking to each other, and he puts his hands up right away, up to his, um, you know, next to his face, and surrendering. What? Oh, an another bloody dancer. <laughs> Arkyak does the jazz what? hands back to him. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> You're hands. not under attack. We already killed all the attacking people, so relax. Uh, 
Uh, you're here to save us then? What happened? Well, that seems a bit of a stretch. We were here on a different job, and all of this kind of happened, and... Uh, Blobby, do you want to explain the canister thing? You know what's going on. We've got good news and we've got bad news. The pirates that were storming this place, they knocked everyone out with gas. And, well, killed a lot of people as well with gas. I guess we'd better go see what that is. So, the, the good news is you're still alive. The bad news yeah. is... The bad guys have probably robbed you and taken all your stuff to their ship already. And all the command crew's dead. And probably all the maintenance crew who actually knows how to keep this place functioning is also dead. The great news is that, that is we arrived possible. and saved you. You're welcome. Um, now, now we're leaving. You can stay here in this room if you want and try to uh, hide in plain sight. Because we're going to go shoot some other geezers by the sounds of it. Or you can try to go back to your rooms and lock yourselves in there until this all blows over or this blows up. That's recommended. Barricade the door, maybe. There's um, possibly still some large rats around as well. Uh, y'all got literally right. shocked. Uncle Ernie, he's uh, let some beasties out to try to eat you, but it's okay. We've killed some of them too. Exactly true. And the old guy is now white as a ghost. His hands yeah, are yeah, trembling. Yeah, lots taken. We know. Sorry is what it is. Uh, recommend everyone move along to their rooms. Hey, all you people. Go to your rooms, lock yourselves in. We're going to try and deal with what we can, okay? Nothing to see here. Is it really our job to deal with it? Crowd control. Feel free to leave some coin outside your your doors. We we work better when we're paid. I don't know if it's our job at this point, but I feel like if we don't deal with it, we might not live to get any other jobs, Blobby, so... All right, I suppose... Tell your friends what's going on and get them to tell other people, too. Zach will Does be here anyone... all week. <laughs> Try the Bringing video. many smiles. Tip your server. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Akiak will slide over to Blobby. Can you carry one of these Let's new alien these races? <laughs> Can I carry them? Yeah. Don't look at it. That uh, natural. Try dropping it in me. <laughs> How heavy Man. is the... Can't believe I'm doing this on a first race. date. <laughs> try to insert the alien race into Blobby. <laughs> it's not an alien race. How heavy is the alien race? Uh, <laughs> it is fairly heavy. Um, it's probably a good you know, 10, 15 kilos. I'm pretty sure. It's full that. of... It's full of... It feels like it's full of... Um, money. It's full of money and stuff. Not money. Um, <laughs> Archaic might think so, though. Yeah, maybe money. Or jewelry, or both. A military backpack full of jewelry. <laughs> for for those special this is occasions. Some weapons grade jewelry. When you want to go in tactical. looking fabulous. <laughs> tactical jewelry. It is plunder, Blobby. Plunder. It's why these geezers were here. We are trying to abscond with what they have rightfully stolen. Oh, you don't need to convince me. 
Yes, but we need to I make sure that... exactly and... 29 pounds. I don't know if I will be able to carry it very well. Well, you're not carrying it. You've absorbed it. You are the bank now. I will do my best. And I probably move a bit slower with the bag in me. Can't you change your size and stuff? I can, but I have the same, like, mass. Okay, you just spread yourself out. Oh, so you could get get 12 feet tall, but you'd be like an inch thick. Exactly. In, like, three dimensions. That's what I'm assuming. I haven't really... I can't imagine I can just make more. Oh, actually, um, it said something about cell regeneration, so it's possible I can actually make more of myself to become bigger. But You could take over the universe. Just keep creating more. <laughs> just... Yeah. Absorb the whole galaxy. But anyway, enough about that. Gunfire! And it stopped, the gunfire. Oh, maybe it's over. That was easy. There's not a general alarm going off on the station, is there? Would you like one to be? I'm sure we can find a fire alarm or shunting and hit. I worry that would make all the patrons think they had to leave. And most of the patrons have sort of uh, woken up at this point. Um, there's lots of confusion going on. Some people re-explaining what you uh, told them, but then uh, you have people questioning. Well, see, you can't tell me what to do. Oh, so where's my jewelry? <laughs> I always keep it in a military backpack and I carry it with me everywhere. I just say, I came here for a cup of tea and now this. Look, look, people, it's not that hard. Go to your rooms and stay there. We don't know what's happening right now. Well, we know a little bit, but not all of it yet. So if you don't want to get shot or eaten by a giant rat, go lock yourself in your room. Thanks and have a great day. And Archiac picks up the arm of the guy that he blew it off and waves it like to prove a point and then tosses it. You had some people uh, walking off in almost, uh, you know, some of them disapproved. And then as soon as Archiac, you know, was waving the, I was going to say decapitated arm, but I think it's um, <laughs> not decapitated. That arm's had its head cut off. <laughs> yeah. It's very perceptuous of you. <laughs> <laughs> The word you're looking for is probably severed. A severed arm, yep. <laughs> um, waving the severed arm, you hear a couple of women scream and uh, some of the uh, patrons move off at a quicker pace. Um, but not very not very coherent. They're shambling along out through the corridor that you guys actually came in through. Come on, people, really? there's no need for dramatics. He's armless now. He's unarmed. <laughs> He's. <laughs> You'd really think they'd never seen a severed arm before. The rich. Missed out on a lot of formulative experiences, I suppose. How, how are you doing, Jazak? Are you okay to go and find whatever's doing the gunfire and, um,. Bring in many smiles? Or are you still stuck to the floor? Yes. To what? To woo! To, to, to Archiac's question, I believe. No, I am ready to go bring many smiles to the people shooting their guns. Alright, I suppose we'd better go see about the shooting or whatever. All right, sounds good to me. So is everyone going, or are you splitting the party? 
I'll go. I'll go. I don't need to guard these stupid rich people. We've got their money anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming as well. We warned them. If they want to wander off and get eaten by a rat, their prerogative. Where you heard where the footsteps were going uh, to, uh, well, where you thought, um, and the gunfire uh, might be originating from maybe the hangar bay. I think it's coming from the hangar bay. So check there first. Is that any of the staff still alive, you think? You think I don't know. Like, I, anyone below decks, I mean, are they like now taking out the maintenance personnel? Ooh. It would be helpful if there were any crew still left alive, as I don't really know how to deal with any of this, but... I feel like we should secure our escape route before we try and rescue anyone else. And how... The hangar well, bay. that is where I believe the gunfire is coming from anyway, so two birds, one stone? Precisely. Weapon at the ready. Not assuming yeah. that... Coming to doors, leaning on the side, op getting someone to open the door, making sure no one's on the other side of it, moving forward slowly, not in the middle of the corridor, except for maybe Chizak, because he's, like, huge. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my dog. Oh, my... Oh, my dog? And I'm not going to stand in front of um, Betsy? Go away. Go away, you stink. The gun's name is Charlene, not Betsy. Yes. Okay. All goes boom. All good. Um, so you're moving down the same corridor as uh, some of the you know, other patrons that are heading off to their room back towards the uh, central uh, spoke of uh, the space station and going down uh, the corridor that heads towards the uh, the shuttle bay. And as you near the end of the cor corridor, um, the lights in this section looks like they've been disabled. Uh, you guys, your team comes upon two uh, dead howls at the end of the corridor. Okay. And there's bullet casings and blood. Well, someone took care of those already. What do you make of this, Zach? This not real gun, this little pop gun. <laughs> so station personnel, you're thinking? Could be. It'd be nice if there were any of them left. So you can hear um, the sounds of um, engines warming up through the end of the corridor. We'd better go see about that. Uh, Hopefully yeah, there are go. multiple yeah. ships remaining and they're not leaving on the last one. That is slightly my worry, yes. And at the end of the corridor um, there is an airlock door and it's currently closed. Through the viewport, you can see um, uh, physical. Okay, okay. So you see um, uh, someone who's headed towards the uh, away from a shuttle um, towards what seems to be a control room, um, and it's a. Uh, I wonder how tall they are. 2.2. Okay, not very tall. Uh, approximately two meter tall uh, Fentari. And Fentari are are hexapods with a total of six limbs. And he's wearing uh, combat armor. 
So he's wearing Comet armor. And in four of his six hands, he's carrying uh, a, a pistol in each one. Is that the boss man? Boss man? So, as, know, as I was yeah. saying, no, Fantaria hexapods with total six limbs, they have two legs and four tentacles um, that f basically function as arms. Each leg ends in a Y-shaped pad with two fleshy clasping appendages on the front and the shorter fleshy protrusion on the back that acts as a heel. The two roughly 12 centimeter claspers on the feet are for grasping tree trunks and each tentacle can operate independently of each other which makes fentari deadly in close combat how easy would it be to use a pistol if you've just got snap snap that yeah easy if you don't have a trigger guard fair i don't know weapons just asking mm. <laughs> Because now I'm trying to imagine, like, a lobster with a gun. Yeah. Anyway. But they're, like, they're more like... As um, you do. They're more like... Ob yep. <laughs> as you do with any person you meet. <laughs> You're just imagining them as a lobster head. <laughs> their their um, arms are, like, considered like the, um, the tentacles of a, an octopus which lack bone structure and primarily subsor subsorted, subsorted, supported by cartilage. I hate these races as a subsorted. Okay, so you have an airlock door which is currently locked. Okay, I've got one problem. As this uh, airlock door is probably locked, and we could possibly open it, but do we know if there's air on the other side? And two, uh, weird hentai boy over there, he's probably going to notice the door opening. Um, I'd be surprised if he didn't notice that. Um, oh, yes, computer. Um, and then um, once he notices that, he's going to probably start shooting. Um, I'd rather try to get to jump on him. Any ideas? Huh. If it wasn't an airlock door, I would try and slide under it, but uh, being an airlock door, there aren't many cracks for me to fit through. Well, you're also wearing armor and uh, money. That is also true. I mean, we might be able to open the outer airlock door without him noticing, but that won't be true of the inner one. Well, the airlock door goes... Uh, would open into um, the actual um, hangar bay. Yeah, but an airlock... To be an airlock has to have... Okay, look, Two. computer, look. This is how an airlock <laughs> is. You've got to have a room... And you've got to have an outside door and an inside door in order for it to be an airlock. Otherwise, it's just a fucking door. Yeah, well, the airlock would st prevent when the um, the doors open up on the outside for the shuttles to fly in. Right, but that's why there's two. <laughs> it's a safety I'll thing. Right, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some water. Continue arguing with the computer. <laughs> um, as it just says as you enter the docking bay through an airlock door you'll notice a large carnivorous room um, carnivorous room you'll carnivorous you'll room notice, you'll what kind of place are you running here a large cavernous room I'm open to ideas I was just going to say, I suppose we could uh, just start shooting when his back is turned. But it won't be when we open the door. He's going to hear it. It's going to go... And if it's like some of them, it'll go, airlock door opening. Please stand clear. Could we ask the computer to not make it say that? 
I don't know, Blobby, you've been our technician. Can we ask the computer not to do that? I can give it a shot. Can you override the safety alarms and tell the computer to do a decompression warning even though it's not actually going to decompress in the other room, not this room, the other room. Like, how do you get people to want to get off a nuclear submarine? You make them think that it's got a, uh, it's having an atomic event and there's radiation. Well, you try to do this, Blobby. I just saw a coffee maker. You can see where it says two corridors. That's an airlock door. You can see where it I says... I don't see that. What? There has to be two for it to oh, be an airlock. Oh, I found it. Yeah, but there's an airlock at the actual... Um... Okay, so as you um, look through the... to the docking bay, through the airlock door, you notice that it's a large cavernous room um you've actually already been here <laughs> so it should have been described before uh anyway uh, well maybe this is maybe this is just a different one so directly across from the corridor airlock entrance is a small external airlock leading to space on the left of the small airlock there is a large clamshell shuttle airlock door uh, which allows ships to enter and to leave. To the left of the corridor entrance, against the wall, is a power conduit. Just past the power conduit on the left is the Shuttle Operations Control Center, uh, which is mounted high up on the wall. Um, and you can see that it can potentially be accessed via a stairway, and this is where um, the Fantari is heading up the stairs at present. So towards the far left wall, an emergency generator sits. So that's, uh, this is according to the map. Okay, so when I say left, it's on the map left, but it would be on your right. If you're looking out through the, um, the, the corridor door. <laughs> There are two large shuttles in the bay. Okay, so since flux shields allow matter and energy ab um, above a certain threshold to pass through in only one direction, they are handy for sealing shuttle bays. Ships can pass into the bay while the flux shield is used to prevent the air in the bay from escaping. Switching the flux shield's polarity to allow a ship to exit um, the bay can be done with the push of a button from the control room. This would, however, allow all the air in the bay to escape. As a result, the air is removed from the bay using pumps before ships leave. And in the event of a power loss, a small but noisy portable generator in the bay runs the flux shield for 10 minutes to allow for emergency evacuation. I think it might be possible to do what you were suggesting, Archiac. If we can get to the control room, uh, I may be able to turn off the flux shield and have the air escape from the shuttle bay. Is that the same control that had muffins too, by the way? Um, is that the same control room that you uh, almost died in? Yes. Is it likely to still be full of toxic fumes? Or did you decide that it wouldn't actually affect you and that it was a mental thing that was making you get sick? <laughs> I think it's quite What's possible it will not affect that? me. No, oh, not this time. But you weren't sure before, so you reacted as if it did? Just in case. Maybe. The um, Fantari has disappeared up the stairs and into the control room. So wait, to get into the 
place. We need to get into the control room that's in the same place. I'm confused. Is there is there a way to access the control room from this side of the airlock, or do we have to go into nope. the... No. You'd have to go okay. in and get up. That you know of. You might be able to get into it through some conduits. Conduits? Conduits? Vents or something. Vents. Uh, if there are vents, it kind of defeats the point of an airlock. Uh, to be true, fair, they haven't been particularly bright so far. Unless they have an airlock door on the control room. Because the only actual air lock is on the outer hull of the hangar station. These are airlock doors. So, because the space within the hangar gets vented, right? But the port's only two meters wide. It's a small thermal exhaust port right below the main port. It's also ray shielded, so you're going to have to use proton torpedoes. I suppose Star Wars could exist in this universe. <laughs> as easily as Hunt for Red October. <laughs> I was using that earlier. <laughs> what was he referring to from Hunt for the Red October? I haven't seen that in a long time. How do you get people off a nuclear so, submarine? <laughs> oh, did, oh, did you say that? I completely yeah, missed that. You did. He, he did the whole spiel. But it was well-timed and very appropriate. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think we're going to have to fill this geezer with energy and bullets. But if we can do it in a way that he doesn't have the upper hand, I think that would be better. That will be hard. I don't see him anymore. Ventari are cunning. What's he shooting now? I don't know. Were there people in the control room? Or, did, yes, Operative Ward were there. Is this airlock not fully airtight? Would we hear gunfire if it was airtight? This one's not an air... The door we're outside of isn't an airlock. The only airlock is on the outer wall. Archiac brings up the map. Doesn't this say airlock? No, we're not by airlock. We're by two corridors. Airlock's on the outer wall. On the other side of airlock is space. On the other side of two corridors is us. And somewhere in the middle is a Fentari with four pistols. So, if he's up there, though, he doesn't. He might not be watching the door. We could go in now and take yeah. cover somewhere. That's what I was thinking. Might as well. I'm all for it. Probably. Open door. Unless it goes poorly. And we are all immediately sucked out into space. <laughs> Closed door. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see here because. Although usually they don't allow you to do that if there's. um. If it would do that, they would be like, <coughs> no, you can't open the door. Beep, beep. Yeah. Um, because normally if there was no air inside the hangar bay it would prevent you from opening the airlock. All right. Um, but you've seen a Fentari walking around the hangar bay and up to the control room. Yeah, but so I one would assume that a Fentari but, you know. would need to breathe. Yeah. And Archiac does typically assume that's what he does. <laughs> yeah, people need to breathe. He's extremely intuitous. Yep, exactly. So, are you entering the large cavernous? Oh. 
Danny looks at everyone. Okay, we ready? Hope so. Stealth in looking for cover. Terra is extremely quiet. See the power conduit? That's a, a big um, power conduit. A big power conduit. You see the power conduit? It's, it's the big a big thing power that's... conduit. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. We look at it and we think, wow, that sure is a power conduit. So, Archiac's going to be going to the airlock where it looks like there it comes out and taking cover next to it. At the front of the control room which is 10 metres above the bay floor. Uh, you can see the Fentari moving about, and he actually notices you. Uh, doesn't shoot, but darts behind uh, out of view. Fentari. The Fentari. As you're uh, landing, you notice uh, a glimpse from... Um, at the other end of the control room through some of the um, smash windows. Um, he is reaching down and pressing a button. The button, as his other hands grab onto the side of the table, and all of a sudden you all feel this sense of weightlessness. The right shuttle's turning and the other shuttle... Um, Behind is also turning, but in the opposite direction. Um, so the the right shuttle is turning around to the left, and the left shuttle is turning around to the right. Several shots are heard as windows smash on the far side, and Archiac sees a shadowy figure dart through uh, the windows. And the lights suddenly flick on. As one of the shuttles, um, the one uh, closest to him, takes off straight through the flux shield. So the gig is up, so I'm just going to get his attention by filling the air surrounding him with hot lead. And the last shuttle leaves. And and before anything happened, yeah, before we talked to anyone about it, Tara would have been very much like, if anybody asks, the Fentari saw at the generator, and if anything's missing, the pirates took it. Oh, the Fentari shot the generator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Trying to cover his escape. He was. Badly. <laughs> he also <laughs> turned off the gravity and the lights and broke a window. I mean, clearly he didn't have a very well thought out plan. It, it, he he did not have a structured childhood. <clears throat> <laughs> I wasn't speculating about his childhood, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's also well, the pod. We a... could we can strip that or sell it or something. We have to get it back. It is back. It is back? Yeah, it's just attached to the hole. No, I meant back where we were going. Yeah, just sell it to a salvage person. They pick it up. All right.
Battle Lords of the 23rd Century is available from 23rd Century Productions, LLC. Starring Emily as Tara, Shadow as some sort of nameless blob, Ken as Sack, Ghost as Archiac, and Raven Insane as the Storyteller. Sounds and music provided by Sirenscape, tabletop audio, and other licensed options. This has been a Crit Fail production. Thanks for listening!